hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I am going to show how to install my SQL 8.0 in Windows 10 machine with my SQL workbench and how to create a new database in my SQL workbench so let's start by downloading my SQL 8 community edition browse this website ok now scroll down and click on MySQL Community Server and go to download page to download MySQL 8 installer now download this file click here to download and click no thanks just start my download if you have no account on this website I have already download this file now right click on your mouse or double click to start installation my SQL 8 community edition is free to use For installing MySQL 8 using installer, you have to an active internet connection. allow this app to make changes to your device so click on yes and now installer gathering required information it takes some time depending on your computer ok mysql installer launcher want to launch so allow this app so click on yes and in a short time my my sql installer opening ok choose a setup type uh, this is for development for developer default and this is for development purposes and 
if you want to install server only uh, this install only the mysql server product only and this uh, install only the client product without a server and this option install all included mysql products and features and this is the custom manually select the product that should be installed on this system so uh, this is the recommended click on next and here available products and select and select an application mysql workbench if you want to install this now click on next to continue installation ok uh, this uh, two product will be installed on your system and is its status is ready to install so execute my sql server 8.022 is installing okay mysql server installed successfully and status is uh, completed and now mysql workbench is installing Okay, MySQL Workbench installed successfully. Now you have to do product configuration. So click on next and MySQL server status ready to configure. So click on next and configuration type if you use the purpose of development. So use the development computer if you use this in your server computer then select server computer and this type is the dedicated computer select any of this and then click on next and use a strong password encryption for authentication recommended so click on next to continue and enter a new password for mysql root user account click on next to continue and uh, this is the recommended the standard system account so click on next and to apply this configuration click on execute now initializing database it may take a long time and it will create a new directory that contains your database inside program data and mysql mysql server and you will create a new database the database is stored in this data directory
now server is starting ok the configuration of mysql server was successful now click finish to continue and now click on next the installation procedure has been completed so click on copy log to clipboard to copy all of logs and then click on finish and open any text editor and paste here log files for future use and now open mysql workbench ok now click here to login mysql workbench and enter your root user password and click on ok ok you are now logged in you can create a new database from here this icon create a new schema in the connected server so click here and name a new schema users db and click to apply and now click on apply and finish ok you can see this database name and database created successfully from here schemas and create a new table right click on table and then select create table and name of your table users and click here and double click on column name here type your column name and create a another column name and email and anything you want you can set the constraint now click here to apply for creating a new table with attributes now click to apply now click on finish and click and now mouse hover on users and the right icon click here and select all users from db database you can enter data from here 
admin and admin now apply to insert this record in users table in db database so click on finish now select and see you can export this table from here click here to export and save this file okay if you get help from this tutorial please subscribe this channel and like this video and share your feelings by comments Thank you so much for watching this video.